Get ready for Monday Motivation. Welcome to Monday Motivation. This is your host, Prophetess Kimberly Moses, and I'm going to take you guys on a fantastic journey this week. Every week, I'm going to encourage you and give you the word of the Lord to get you through your week. So get ready to be empowered and get strengthened in your faith. So today I want to talk to you guys about being motivated. A lot of us lost our motivation. We lost motivation to write the book, to build the business, to read our Bible, to fast, to pray, to spend time with God. We just lost motivation. This word today is going to empower you and allow you and bless you to get your motivation back. So I asked the Lord recently in my prayer closet, God, what do you want me to say on this Monday motivation? He says it's motivation time. That's right. A lot of you guys have been discouraged. You wanted to quit and throw in the towel. You feel like, God, I'm doing everything you told me to do, but I don't see any fruit yet. God, I'm doing everything that you put in my heart to do, but it seems like nothing is working. I don't even feel like I'm prospering. Well, guess what? It's motivation time. You will prosper. You will see the fruit of what you are working for and what you're believing God for. So I write the scripture this morning, and this is going to bless you. It depends on your translation. I'm going to read the ESV translation, the English Standard Version. And it's, and it's coming from Job 22, 21. Job 22, 21. It says, agree with God. Be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. This is one of Joe's friends talking and trying to encourage him. Um, and we all know the backdrop of Job. So be at peace. Stop worrying about things that's out of your control. Stop worrying about things that's over your head. Trust God to do it. Trust God to do it. If God says write the book, push and write the book. If God says do the business, push and do that business plan. Write the business plan. If God says step out, push. Father, I just come against anything that will steal the people of God's motivation. I come against anything that will resist us from making progress in Jesus' name. Lord, we come against everything that will try to discourage us, cause us to feel heavy in the name of Jesus. It is time to get motivated because God has an amazing plan for each and every one of us. It is time to get motivated because we have lives to impact for the glory of God. It is our time to get motivated because we are on the brink of a major breakthrough. We are on the brink of, of experience the biggest miracles that we have ever encountered. We are one praise away from receiving victory. It's time to get motivated. It's time to open up your mouth and begin to prophesy. It's time to open up your mouth and begin to decree and declare the word of God. It's time to open up your mouth and bring every prayer, uh, prophecy, word over your life back into God, back into his remembrance. It's time to get motivated because God is moving powerfully by his spirit. And God says today, do not worry, my children, fret not, my children. I'm taking care of all of your needs. I'm the God that's going to supply all of your needs. I am fighting for you. I'm equipping you. And it's time to be motivated. It's time to get up and fight. It's time to believe on my promises. It is time to believe on me so I can bring this harvest into your life. It is motivation time. I need somebody to say that right now out of your mouth. It is motivation time. God will not allow you to be discouraged anymore. Shake off that discouragement. Shake off the defeat. God says it's motivation time and you will not be discouraged anymore. Stop looking around. If you have to stay off social media, stay off social media and keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on the cross because that right there is our push. Jesus is our push and we're going to be motivated to do what we're called to do. You don't have time to be depressed you don't have time to be feeling sorry for yourself. You don't have time to be regretting and, and thinking all kinds of thoughts. What if, should, could have, would have. You don't have time to be thinking that. It is motivation time. Get up, open up your mouth. Get up, decree the word of God. Get up and fight because you're right there. You are right there. Your harvest is right there. 
You are right there. Get up and fight. You are making a difference in someone's life. You are making an impact. I don't care if it's one person. You are effective in what you are called to do. Get up. It may look like nobody cares. It may look like nobody supports you, but it's just a season. I want to prophesy we are coming into a new season. We are coming into a better season. And this season, we're going to get the resources that we are believing for. We're going to get the support that we desire. We're going to get the help. We're going to get everything that we need to do what we're called to do on a higher level. It's motivation time. It is time to grind. It is time to work hard. It is time to get back in this race and and make some progress. Time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. You don't want to allow five or ten years to fly by or come by and you are still in the same position that you were before. It is time to get motivated. Get back up. Fight. Get back in the race because you are about to come into the biggest blessing that has ever hit your life and every prophetic word over our lives will surely come to pass every prophecy that we decreed and declare and touched and agree with we want we're about to receive it it is motivation time allow god to process you allow god to pull out greatness in you as never before allow god to equip you train you and impart into your life but it's motivation time I want to prophesy everything we're doing for God will prosper. Our conferences will prosper. Our books will prosper. Our business will prosper. Our ministries will prosper. Our family will prosper. Our ideas will prosper and generate so much wealth. And it will be successful. And every investment that we have made, we will get back a thousandfold return because it's motivation time. Get up. It may not have worked out before. Get up and try again. Get up. This is time to be motivated. It is time to encourage yourself in God. It is time to keep pushing. Just like the scripture says in Job 22 and 21, agree with God. What is God saying? What is God saying? God is not telling you to be discouraged. God is not telling you to be in your emotions and have a pity party. No, God is saying you can make it. God is saying you can do all things through his son, Christ Jesus. God is saying he is for you. God is saying he is with you. God is giving you many ideas to generate wealth. Agree with God. What did God say you are? What did God say you can do? Agree with him. Be at peace. We can be at peace because we know that when we agree with him, all is well. All is well. Everything's going to come together. It may not even look like it. Everything's going to fall into place. Be at peace. Don't get discouraged. Don't fall apart. Don't be all sad. Be at peace. Thereby, when you trust God, you agree with his word, what he's saying over your life, his promises, and you don't be anxious about anything, good is going to come to you. Good blessings are going to follow you. Miracles will overtake you. It's motivation time. Get motivated. Get motivated. Stay motivated. Shake off the hateration. Shake off the discouragement and fight. I want to prophesy this will be a good week for you. A good week. Focus on Jesus this week. Focus on him. Focus on his promises as never before. And surround yourself with positivity. Listen to this message over and over and over again to motivate you, to encourage you to strengthen you because God loves you so much. God favors you and God is with you and God is your biggest fan. God is your biggest support system. And he says it's motivation time. So get motivated and do what you're called to do. Get motivated and watch God send you to the nations. Watch God enlarge your territory. Watch God launch you. Watch God favor you. Watch God open up doors that no one can shut. Watch God increase your life. Watch God bring the harvest into into your life. Watch God. So this week is motivation time. So if you are blessed by this word, sow a seed in it. Go to my website, prophetisk.org or go to cash app, dollar sign prophetiskim and sow into this word. Agree with this word. 
I want you guys, everybody on here, to go register for the third annual Empowering the New Me Conference in Florence, South Carolina, November the 15th and the 16th. God is going to do the miraculous. Repeat. It's going to be an, it's going to be a tsunami of glory that's going to overtake us. And I'm believing God to upgrade mantles. I'm believing God to equip to equip all of us on a higher level so we can be more effective in what we're called to do. Sign up for my prophetic training. Your life will never be the same. Also, you guys, register for my official book club. Every month, I'll give you a new book if you like my books. And if you want to just fellowship with me and just discuss, if you love to read, you need to connect, sign up. The first session starts May the 6th. Also, you guys, sign up for my mentorship program. It is three months of training. I want to equip you. I want to show you everything I know as far as ministry. And you're going to get hands-on training. You're going to be more effective in what you're called to do. Learn how to heal the sick more effectively. Learn how to cast out demons more effectively. Learn how to flow with the Holy Spirit even more effectively as we cover the basics of ministry and some of the higher things of ministry. All right, you can sign up for everything on my website. I love you. And you guys be motivated because it's motivation time. See you on the next Monday Motivation. God bless.